Lesson 4 Patterns Patterns Where do you generally see patterns? Yes, we see patterns on flow tiles, window grills, wrist materials and on many more things. When a design is repeated in a uniform way, we call it a pattern. Let us now learn what patterns are and the different types of patterns. Patterns around us In everyday life, we see many patterns. You see some of them on the screen here. When objects, events and numbers are repeated uniformly in a specific way, a pattern is formed. Now look at these examples. We can create various forms of patterns using objects, geometrical shapes, pictures, numbers, sounds, touch actions like tapping and physical actions like clapping and jumping. Pattern in geometrical shapes. There are two types of patterns. They are growing patterns, repeated patterns. Now what are growing patterns? If some patterns and designs grow with straight lines and geometrical shapes, they are called growing patterns. Look at these examples. These are examples of growing patterns. Now do this exercise and continue the pattern. Pattern 1 Pattern 2 Pattern 3 Repeated patterns If some patterns and designs repeat with straight lines and geometrical shapes, they are called repeated patterns. And these are some examples of repeated patterns. Now do this exercise and continue the pattern. Pattern 1 Pattern 2 Pattern 3 Follow this pattern to reach the school from home. Pattern in numbers. We have made some patterns with pictures. We can make patterns with numbers too. Look at these rows of numbers. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 and 120. Even in numbers, there are two types of patterns. They are growing patterns and repeated patterns. Now, growing patterns in numbers. If some number patterns grow with odd and even numbers, they are called growing patterns. Look at these examples. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and so on. 10, 
20, 30, 40, 50 and so on. 17, 19, 21, 23, 25 and so on. Repeated patterns in numbers. If some number patterns repeat with odd and even numbers, they are called repeated patterns. 744, 744, 744, and so on. 156, 156, 156. And so on. 101, 102, 101, 102. Now let us complete these patterns. 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, 6. 2, 4. 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21, 28. 1, 3, 7, 13, 21, 31, 43. 15, 25, 35, 15, 25, 35, 15. 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. 10, 20, 30. 10, 20, 30, 10. Complete these patterns. Pattern 1. Pattern 2. Pattern 3. Match and complete the patterns. Pattern 1. Pattern 2. Pattern 3, Pattern 4, Pattern 5, Pattern 6, Pattern 7. Observe the pattern and complete the series. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 395, 390, 385, 380, 375, 370, 365, 360, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 11, 22, 
33, 44, 55. Complete these patterns. Two flowers, four flowers, seven flowers, ten flowers. Three balloons, five balloons, seven balloons, nine balloons. Symmetry. Take a sheet of paper and fold it. Draw any shape at the folded edge of the sheet. Cut the shape. Unfold it. Note that one half of the shape is exactly like the other half. The line which divides the figure into two exact halves is called the line of symmetry. In symmetrical shapes, one half is the mirror image of the other. Activity 3 Take a piece of paper. Spill few drops of ink on the paper. Now fold the paper and press it. You will get a symmetric figure. Look at the following symmetrical letters. Observe the symmetrical lines in the letters. How to divide the figure into two equal parts? Draw the lines of symmetry for these figures. Draw the other half of the figure to make it symmetrical. Figure 1 Figure 2 Figure 3 Figure 4 Figure 5 Figure 6 Now classify whether the following figures are symmetrical patterns by marking a tick or an into in the box. This is a symmetrical pattern. This is also a symmetrical pattern. This is not a symmetrical pattern. This is a symmetrical pattern. And this too is a symmetrical pattern. 